New at 10, one Labor Day weekend camping trip turned into a rescue mission when three men stumbled upon a wounded bald eagle in Newmarket. Way 31's Nicole Zedek spoke to the man who saved that bald eagle. And Nicole, how did they describe that experience? It was an eerie sight, seeing the symbol of American freedom wounded. Something they will not forget for a very long time, as many people never have the chance to see a bald eagle in the wild, let alone save one's life. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Kyle Vines and Weston Brown were looking forward to a relaxing Labor Day weekend until they stumbled upon something unusual. He saw something run across the road, looked hurt, said he thought it was a turkey. We got out and went to go look. When I saw it was a bald eagle, I said, guys, we need to call help. Weston quickly picked up the phone and called a wildlife specialist. He asked me, he said, is it just an eagle or is it a bald eagle? And I said, it's a bald eagle with white head, you know, and looks like she's she's been wounded, you know. A bald eagle, symbol of American freedom, injured by a possible gunshot wound. Where she had been, those little pools of blood, she had definitely, definitely suffered a gunshot wound. So the wildlife specialist said the men saved her life. She was badly dehydrated. She was starting to develop blood poisoning. She had a bad infection. And had we waited till the next morning to call, she'd probably been dead. A rescue mission these men will never forget. It's something that you see on Discovery Channel or National Geographic. You know, not only are we seeing one here in North Alabama, you know, we're getting to be a part of its rescue. The wildlife specialist told them the eagle probably has an 80% chance at recovery and a 50% chance at flying again. I reached out to the Alabama Wildlife Center to see if they've had a chance to x-ray her and identify if the injury was in fact caused by a gunshot wound, but I'm still waiting to hear back at this time. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.